Firefield Vision, powered by NovaCare, as we take a look at some of the things that happened this past weekend in the 2-2 draw with Montreal, and also get you ready for the game coming up this Saturday with Columbus in town for a 1 o'clock kick. And always in every game, positives and negatives. And, and we're, we're going to talk a lot about them. Fred, we're going to stick on the positives right now because <laughs> there were a lot of positives. And I think it's good to see a lot of uh, things that you, you do on the training pitch now take place uh, on a game. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, so the, uh, we, we have like 10 clips to go over. I'm sure that they can focus uh, on some of the negative things. But I felt that there was a lot of positive things to, that, uh, to focus on from this last game. Well, well, we'll get you the chalkboard as you guys break these things down and look at these highlights. Well, well, for me, it's like you see this little combination play uh, where, where Alvarez comes inside, they swing the ball out wide to Harrington, and it's great to see this run inside out and then that ball by Harrington. And then, you know, finds Juninho coming in, the ball comes across to a calm coming inside. You get a corner from this, which leads to the goal, but that buildup actually was very good. Yeah, this is what we're talking about with the movement of the ball, and you can see here now Schweinsteiger drifting off to the left, Finds the ball, beautiful ball over the top. This is what we were talking about earlier in the show, his ability to find that pass in the final third. And I thought it was a fine idea from a comp for Nikolic, just a little bit off on the pass. And then for me, from a throw, it's good for me when you have guys working hard to win the ball. And you just see this blind run from, uh, from uh, Juninho coming inside, that ball in the pockets to find Basti, and then uh, Mex Cabrera coming inside. And, and then, then you w- see here, Frank, I get so angry. Nikolic gets tackled by Kamara. The referee's got his arms out saying, play on. First of all, if you're going to say that, come back and give a yellow card. He doesn't do it. Then, watch, they lose the ball. He's still got his hands out for play on. Call the foul. It was crazy. I mean, I, I, I saw that all along. I think goal scoring opportunity stop. But here's another play. I think it's great to see a calm working hard defensively to win that ball back. Great ball to split the pockets. I mean, you see Alvarez coming inside. A calm is making that run out wide. And for me, this was so close. The timing all that with, with Nikolic is always looking to get behind. I felt he was on, but that's just another opportunity where, you know, once that uh, they get on the same page with that, those are going to convert into opportunities and the goals. Yeah, that's a tough offside call. I didn't realize it was that close during the game. Akam was there as well. Then you see here another great movement here. Good ball through to Akam. Or sorry, to Brandon Vincent, not able to get it across. And then we see here again. That's Michael DeLue, very, very close to putting that in the back of the net. And that was Brandon Vincent making that run. That's the confidence I was talking about. That's the about. one, and I think it was a great ball in and a great run in the back post by, uh, by Michael DeLue there. But here's this, uh, this opportunity that leads to, to, to the red card. And here's the one I was talking about. Johnson gets it. He's got Bernier on him. That little delay to separate, and that, for me, that incredible run there by Solnik. The minute that ball is played to Basti, he's taken off, and he's so fast, and then he gets Cabrera to get that second uh, yellow. There's Schweinsteiger nearly getting his second goal. Just tried to place it to the far post. Would have been a nice finish. Just another ball here again with Johnson. Very nice little combination. Movement off the ball. Plays it. Nice, easy ball back to Schweinsteiger. And then this movement again. Just the recognition of Solnyak. Just to make that run if there's space in depth and get another opportunity on goal. Yeah, that was the pocket that I like to see the rookie finding and, and being a part of the play there. And here we go. Dax winning the ball. Up and over to Solnyak. And that's just a quality finish right there. But you love Daniel Johnson involved in defensively there. And then Dax, ability to get his head up and make that pass. There are multiple players now on this team that can make those passes. Multiple players now that can beat you. 100%. I think the, with Johnson, what I liked is his decision making. Mm-hmm. When he needed to hold the ball, he was able to hold it. And I think those plays on the first one initially where there was no space there. And then he creates a little space. And then he's fine Schweinsteiger. And then his movement you know, in depth, you know, to, to give an angle for, for, uh, for Dax to play him, knocks it back to Bossy. Great little combination play and link up play one, two, and then that run into space uh, behind Cabrera that, uh, you know, Schweinsteiger has. And then, I mean, in, in just one game, I think you can just see that, 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 that understanding and then, you know, the movement off the ball. And it's, it's great to see because when you have movement off the ball, you have options. And that's sometimes what's missing. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to sit here and pretend. We had a few clips of what the fire could have done better in this game. There were moments, of course, defensively where they could have done some things better or attacking-wise, but we also had 10, 15 clips that we found of what they did well, and I think what really stands out is what Frank said, the combination play 
from the start with Schweinsteiger on the field was so much better than what we've seen from this team in a long time. And it led to opportunity after op opportunity, whether it was Schweinsteiger from a deep lying position finding those passes, whether it was Daniel Johnson in the late stages getting the ball in those pockets and combining with Schweinsteiger to allow him to play those weighted balls in. There was a lot to talk about. Brandon Vincent's run. Uh, so, so I think that, the, that there are positive signs of where this team is going. Uh, and now you just want to try to put it all together in, in a one 90-minute performance where you also kind of put those, those soft goals and push them out of the way. So quickly as we take a look at this week, I mean, this past week they played without Kapelhoff. He's back after his red card. Janino's out. What's that going to mean to the midfield? Well, the good thing is that you have options mm -hmm. with players. And I think it, when you have guys, I think the impact that players have off the bench have come in and they contributed to a game like this. I think that uh, the coach has options. And, you know, uh, it's always good to have options. Yeah. You know, it's always good to have options. We'll I've see what he does. I, think, I mean, it's hard in this moment to sit down and say, what's the formation they're going to play? Do you go back to 4-2-3-1? Do you go to a 4-4-2 of some sort? You know, I don't know. Goosens is out. Daniel Johnson, we don't know his status. You know, Polster, I think, is another week or two away. So mm -hmm. we're going to have to wait and see what we hear from, from Ponovich, maybe if we see in training. Fire opened up the season against the Columbus Crew SC, and now the crew comes to Toyota Park this Saturday, 1 o'clock, and they've been playing much better soccer of late.